Lanza shares the incredible video of Concorde 2, the quiet supersonic jet with 925 mile an hour speeds. Now these are the old images of the Concorde, the first Concorde, which was quite noisy. That's why the flights were stopped between the UK and US from London to New York. And um, the 2.0 is expected to go into flight next year. NASA assembled a Son of Concorde incredible jet that is set to revolutionize commercial flight industry again, this time with a quiet supersonic flight. The, so the space agency shared incredible time lapse of the X-59 supersonic jet rapidly taking shape. It was dubbed the Son of Concorde, the newest member of NASA's family of experimental X-planes expected to fly for the first time next year officially branded X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology, or Quest for short. The aircraft being put together by contractor Lockheed Martin Skunk Works in Palmdale, California. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. And these are the Lockheed Martin images of the new Concorde 2.0. You can see a very big significant change in the shape of the aircraft. The nose, the wings, sleeker style of course, flying at almost the speed of sound. Now the supersonic jet has been designed to reach breakneck speeds of Mach 1.4 of 925 miles an hour, that's 1.4 times the speed of sound. For comparison, the famous Concorde hit speeds of Mach 2.4 or 1,354 miles an hour. But the X-59 has the upper hand in this race because its cutting edge design is designed to emit the sonic boom sounds. Uh, they will no lo longer be uh, taking place. Uh, the sonic boom no louder than a car door closing. Now that is a key factor that will allow the X-59 to cruise over the continental United States next year. Very low sound. Lockheed Martin said this breakthrough would open the door to an entirely new global market for aircraft manufacturers assembling passengers to travel anywhere in the world in half the time it takes today. Sonic booms are thunder-like bangs as we know some of us have heard them causing caused by the aircraft breaking the sound barrier. The startling sounds are often heard when fighter jets are scrambling to intercept suspicious aircraft over cities. Now some, uh, so the Concorde may then have been the fastest aircraft, but its frightening sonic booms prevented it from flying over populated areas. In the 57 second time lapse shared by NASA, you can see the X-59 take shape. Construction begins with teams of workers buzzing around like bees around the X-59 skeleton, workers assembling the jet main sections including the wings, tail assembly, the forward section with cockpit and fuselage, and at the end of the clip, the heap of metal bars resembles something capable of flight. Jay Brandon, NASA's chief engineer for the low boom flight demonstrator LBFD project, said we will uh, have now transitioned from being a bunch of separate parts sitting around on different parts of the production floor to an aeroplane. NASA warned Lockheed Martin more than $247.5 million to assemble. They awarded that to assemble the aircraft after announcing the project in 2018. And the time lag clip covers a uh, period of construction from May 2019 to June 2021. Now what causes a sonic boom? Sonic booms occur when the aircraft breaks the speed of sound due to the way air moves around a fast moving object. Supersonic jets displace the air in front of them much like a boat displaces water in a lake. The bigger a jet is, the more air it will displace, creating a shock wave that reverberates behind the aircraft. And according to NASA, the shock wave creates a cone of pressure aired, pressured air molecules the pressured air moves outwards and rearwards in all directions, extending down to the ground. 
NASA explains as soon as this code spreads across the landscape along the flight path, it creates a continuous sonic boom along the full width of the cone's base. The sharp release of pressure after the buildup of the shock wave is heard as the sonic boom. NASA compared the change in pressure to the amount of airspace air displaced by a lift moving up or down three floors. However, an aircraft displaces the air much more rapidly and that causes the sonic boom to go off so loudly. Now the X-59, the Concorde II, will eliminate this problem by creating sonic booms of about 75 PLDB, about as loud as a car door closing. So that's nothing. Lockheed Nart Martin said the X-plane accomplishes this by tailoring the volume and lift distribution to separate the shocks and expansions associated with supersonic flight. The result, they said, supersonic heartbeat is dramatically quieter than the disruptive N-wave boom generated by today's supersonic craft. So that's good news. Uh, I don't know how many passengers this new type of Concorde will be taking. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.